guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today we're going to be trying out the new Nomad Cosmetics Nomad Air Travel Set. Guys, this collection is just too cute. Look at the little zipper handles on here. They're shapes of little airplanes. I love the blue bag and I love the entire concept of this. Very different from Nomad Cosmetics. This is giving me pan am airlines air vibes remember that airline from many years ago that's sort of the vibe that i'm getting from this one so if you wanted to buy the full collection that includes this bag it retails for 79 dollars. i do have uh, an affiliate discount code for you guys it is steph 10 and that will save you 10 percent off of your order at nomad but let's unbag this shall we i love this bag by the way like it's very functional very travel friendly as are all of the items in here and then um, i'll show them to you one by one and give you prices for each of them so let's start first with the face cream which this is going to be like your moisturizer or this is going to be perhaps even a primer i have not opened it yet this is a total first impression i wanted to not open it because i wanted to show you guys how well it came sealed so let me open it right now. So here is what this face cream looks like. This is going to be the most expensive individual item in the collection. It retails for $49. There is no scent whatsoever. And I got some right now, like on my fingertips. So I spread it out on my hands and it does feel very hydrating and it is in tin friendly travel packaging. So next up, we're getting a facial mist, a face spray, makeup setting spray, makeup refresher, hydrator, however you want to use this. You get 3.4 fluid ounces. This one is going to retail for $22. And let me just show you the mister. It is a fine but mighty mister. So I think I'm really going to enjoy that. Something that we all need just not just for travel, but just any time of year, any time of day really is a nice little lip balm. And this is their Lip Slave. This one is going to retail for $12 and it does come sealed. And here's an up close look at that. There is, oh, there's like a, let's put some on right now. There's like a rose scent to this. Hmm, I just did my morning skincare but we're still going to use the face cream as a makeup primer today. Mm, that feels really good. There's not really a taste to it. It's more of like a rosebud scent. That's yummy. I am definitely going to get a lot of use out of this. I'll be using this not only for when I travel, but just here around the house. And last but not least is this eyeshadow palette, the Nomad Air Travel Palette. This is a six pan eyeshadow palette, three mattes and three shimmers. And this one retails for $22. I cannot wait to try this out. I'll show you guys some swatches of this when we get into creating um, the eye look, but I'm going to be doing just a full face get ready with me. I've brought in some other products that I usually travel with like a my typical foundation and concealer that I normally travel with a bronzer that I like to travel with and just some extra goodies so really excited for this all of this is going to launch on Tuesday October the is it the 16th oh no no today is the 15th when I'm filming this is going to launch on October the 17th at like 12 a.m. EST, which means it would launch. Yeah, it would launch on um, October 16th. For those of us in central time like me, I'm here in Texas, um, it would probably be at 11 p.m. CST. So be on the lookout for it. And again, if you're interested, my affiliate code STEF10 will give you 10% off of your order. If it is your first time here on my channel, I just want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph and I love trying out new makeup. Um, I love doing multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos, get ready with me videos. If all of that sounds great to you, I want to invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of Nomad Cosmetics or just travel friendly makeup in general, be sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go. As usual, everything that I'm wearing will be linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping, 
listening to them. I thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. Shout out to Versed Skincare for sending me this really cute little headband. It was part of a recent PR package that I got from them and I cannot wait to try those skincare goodies. Let's get started with today's video. If you guys want to see this new Nomad Cosmetics travel set in action, keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to try and use again travel friendly everything like items that I would typically take with me when I travel. So let's go in first with this face cream. So I'm assuming that this is going to be like a multi-purpose product. Feels really, really hydrating and I like that there's not a scent to it. So this could easily just be your moisturizer. I'm sure you can use it as a primer the way I'm doing today. Again, I've already done my morning skincare, which does include sunscreen. I'm using the one from La Roche-Posay. It is more of like a mattifying sunscreen and it's perfect for my 41 year old normal to oily skin. And this is just going to act as a bit of a hydrator for me right now. Um, I went in with a very light moisturizer this morning, more of like a water-based moisturizer. So this is just going to give my skin that added bit of hydration that I need for the day. It's like really, really dry outside. It's going to be a really beautiful day today weather-wise, but it is, it is really dry. There is, we have not had humidity like all week. It's been fantastic. So the foundation that I always travel with, and I need to get a new one. It is this one from Lancome. It is the Tint Idol Stick Foundation. I have the shade 140. I'm almost done, almost done with it. Um, I wouldn't say this is the best shade match for me but usually when I do the bulk of my traveling it's like in the summer so I have some bit of a tan so it works you know I know it's not an exact match but I just love this foundation to pieces because it lasts all day it looks good and it's just so easy to travel with uh, I'm gonna be using the new Angie hot and flashy and BK beauty uh, collaboration travel brush set so I'm just gonna spray some cleaner to clean my brush off real quick it's this one from Sephora this has been my go-to spot cleaner for my brushes for about a month and a half now, I think. Um, and I've really made a dent in it. So I love that. Now let's start applying. This is the smaller version of the BK101. And this one is called the A101 brush. I am, and I've said this several times, I am a nervous flyer. So being able to do my makeup on the plane really helps to calm my nerves. and. I like doing it on the plane and I usually film <laughs> now that I have the YouTube channel. So the last few trips that I've taken in the summer, I usually film the makeup look. I know I did this past year when I went to Turks and Caicos um, and really it does help. Believe it or not, it really does help to calm my nerves. Add just a little bit more right here. This is always where I like to build up coverage, old acne scars, minor discoloration. This foundation is quick and easy and it covers. Now we're going to go in with another Lancome product, product and this is the Tint Idol, uh, what is it? The All Cover Concealer, All Over Concealer, I'm sorry. And I have shade 110 in this one. I bought a new shade in this. I went a shade down, but I'm trying to finish up this last little bit because there's very little left in this one. And I'm using the travel version of the BK and Angie brush set. This is the A, oh, this is actually the TA506. They have a T in front of the, um, the brush name so that it can be distinguished as the travel set. And all it means is that the handles are smaller. The actual bristles and stuff are the same size. It's a five piece brush set, I believe. I only have four of them. I don't know where the other brush is. I think it's in my um, travel bag that I used when I went to Dallas a couple weeks ago because I did take this brush set with me. So I think I left it over there. 
and I want to say it's for blush. This is typically a concealer that I do travel with just because I can rely on it to be full coverage and I can rely on it to just basically play well with any powder I pair with it. We're going to be using a um, travel size setting powder as well today. Mini size makeup. That, that's, that's on the agenda for today. Now I just added a little more concealer. Typically what I do when I travel is I get my damp makeup sponge or I get my makeup sponge and I go to the restroom inside the airport terminal and I dampen it. And that way when I'm ready to start applying the makeup on the plane, it's like wrapped up in damp um, paper towel my sponge is ready for me to use because I don't want to use the water that's in the airplane. <laughs> so I do that. I always make sure I do that before I board. Now I still have a few more cream products that we're going to go in with. One of them being the latest bronzer slash contour, but I think it's more of a bronzer from Give by Gwen Stefani. This is the Pick It Up Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. And this is why I like bringing this product traveling with me because I have the option of a cream bronzer um, and then I have the option of a powder bronzer underneath to kind of just set it all in place. So this one has already made three trips with me this year. It does come with a mirror. I love it. The shade I have in this one is the second to lighter shade and it's called Toastin. Now I'm going to use the BK 110 so that we can, uh, we can apply the cream side first. You know, I'm kind of wondering if the shades that are in the eyeshadow palette, since they are all neutral brown shades, I wonder if one of them would work as a bronzer. Maybe we can try that right now. Forgot to, I forgot to double check on that before I started this video. So here is the eyeshadow palette. I think this would be the closest shade. Uh, the other two might be a little too dark. Let's try it. Let's try it on the nose. Let me get Where are my brushes. I've been displaced a bit from my filming room uh, just because I've had like all of this home remodeling going on right now. But um, okay, where did I put my bronzer brush that I use for my nose? I'm just going to use this one from Beach Cosmetics. I'm going to dip in here. Let's see how this will go. Oh yeah, this is good. I think I can make this work. Yeah, I like that. Just something soft for the nose. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go back to the Give bronzer and I'm going to do the powder next. And I found that BK Angie Hot and Flashy Travel Brush. This is the TA507 and I'm just going to use this for the bronzer. All right, next we're going to go in with this teeny tiny NARS blush. It's a beautiful shade. This one is a uh, OX, the OX blush. And I'm going to use the, the same brush that I used right now for bronzer. Let me just kind of clean it off. And then we'll use this here on the cheekbones. I think if you're ever in doubt of which blush to bring with you on a trip. You need to pack light. You don't have a lot of room. I think a blush like this or anything like in the peachy tones will pretty much be flattering for any eye look that you do. And they're typically pretty flattering on um, all skin tones. You would just have to get the right amount of intensity for your skin tone if you're a deeper skin tone. Of course, if you're a lighter skin tone, you probably just want to use a little bit of the product if it's something uh, bold and bright like this one. And just lightly stipple it on and then buff it out. And you know what? We haven't gone in with the facial mist and I already started doing my powder products. I forget that um, and I say that because I like to use my cream products first and then go in with like the setting spray and then do my um, 
my powder products. Um, let's do, let's do the facial mist right now before I set like my under eye area and my T-zone. So here it is right here. Let me just give it a good shake. Just going to pat that with my damp beauty sponge. Now I'm going to use my little travel friendly Givenchy Prisme Libre uh, setting powder. This one is in the shade uh, Violet Rose. I'm going to use that to set the under eye area as well as set the T-zone. Now I want to try using perhaps the shade as a highlighter, a pale gold highlighter. I think that might be really cool. I'm going to take my Nabla highlighter brush and we'll just apply that here. Not as smooth <laughs> as I would like for a highlighter, but you know what? It's it's travel. You can't always have it perfection. So I think this, yeah, I think this would be for some of you, you'd be okay with this, but for those of you who need a smoother highlighter, yeah, you might you might just want to pack your own little mini size highlighter for on the go. I'm going to go over it with the blush brush. No additional product, just to kind of diffuse it a bit, mesh it together. Now, brows are next. Brows are something I struggle with just <laughs> daily when I'm sitting here, uh, let alone in an air airplane or car where there's bumps, turbulence, what have you. So I'm gonna pop off camera and just use my traditional NYX or Milani brow products. And then I am gonna come back and we're gonna start creating a look with this travel palette from Nomad. All right guys, so here is the palette and then here is it swatched. So again, three mattes and then three shimmer shadows, very basic. And usually when I travel, let me grab it really quick because I always travel with the Natasha Denona I Need a, New, a Nude Mini palette. So here is I Need a Nude Mini and then here is the Nomad one. So they're very similar. You do get one more shade in the Natasha Denona Mini palette. This one retails for 27 and then this one down here from Nomad is 22. So um, I like that. I like that this is a, a mini size palette and I also like that you get a mirror over here because we always need a mirror if we're going to be doing our makeup like I do on the plane or in the car or whatever it is. Um, and it's actually a nice size mirror. It's like the full size of the palette. But this palette goes with me wherever I go. It's just that neutral one and done palette that I know I can rely on. Um, yeah, and then I do end up bringing like a colorful palette or maybe like an all shimmer palette. And I use the matte setter in that Natasha Denona mini um, nude palette as my base. But now I have uh, the Nomad Travel Air, what is it called? The Nomad Air Travel Palette to bring along instead. So we're going to try and use all the shades in this palette. And I'm going to start first with Let's Take Off and then just work my way into the um, other two matte shades. And then we'll play with these two shimmer shadows on the lid and on the inner corner, so on and so forth. Now I'm going to use another brush from that BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy Travel Brush Set. This is a TA. 501. And I did prime my eyelids already with the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Primer. I'm just going to be putting the shade in the crease. Very basic, nothing, nothing extravagant. Next I'm going to use the TA502 and I'm going to go in with this shade called Up Up and Away. Focus that on the lower portion of the crease as well as build up the outer corner. Now on that same brush, I'm going to pick up Fly Disguise, very little, and just focus it right here. I will probably use this shade for the lower lash line as well. Oh, that's a good, good shade. This palette is performing really, really nicely. I'm taking that same shade on a rougher 26 and I'm just going to take it about halfway. 
All right, now we're gonna start playing with some of these beautiful shimmer shadows. I'm gonna go in first with this one, and I think I'm gonna do this one all over the lid, and then I'm gonna do this like in the center, and this will be for the inner corner. I'm using a damp Morphe M709 for the shade See the World. This is turning into a very smoky eye. <laughs> A travel friendly smoky eye and I'm using this little um, Mac fix plus it's a mini size setting spray to spray the brush but since this collection comes with a face mist you can just use that one and it's always fun when people are watching me put my makeup on <laughs> when I'm in the plane because they see the before and after and even the flight attendants are like wow that's that's quite a difference <laughs> with makeup without makeup but they I always I always get compliments and um and then people will ask me like oh do you are you a makeup artist or this I'm like no I have a YouTube channel and then I get some of them to subscribe it's it's really cool it's just a conversation starter. And I'm sure maybe it helps those that are also fearful flyers. Maybe them watching me, it kind of helps them to zone out a little bit. I know it helps me to zone out. So yes, I am all for doing my makeup on the plane. Next, I'm gonna go in with Find Your Wings and I'm gonna pick that up with my finger and we're just gonna place that right here in the center of the lid. Wow, that is gorgeous. So this palette definitely goes deeper than that Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette, the mini one. Wow, that's beautiful. Now on a BK210, I'm going in with Follow the Sun, which is the last shade I needed to use. And I did spray this brush. That is the perfect inner corner highlight. Very intense, very sparkly just as we would expect from Nomad Cosmetics, just because this is like the smallest palette they've ever done, doesn't mean it wasn't going to be their same great amazing quality, and it is. All right, guys, I am going to pop off camera to take care of the finishing touches. I'm going to use um, a travel-friendly mascara, a travel-friendly lipstick, and my usual rare beauty eyeliner or wet n wild breakup proof eyeliner but i i'm out of the wet n wild one that's why i'm trying to finish up the rare beauty one but i'll be right back to show you guys the completed look and just wrap up today's video give you guys my final thoughts on this new nomad cosmetics travel friendly makeup collection okay guys so here is the completed look i'll tell you quickly what i went in with rare beauty liquid eyeliner for the top lash line i'm using this travel size version of the one size fantasize mascara in the lower waterline i'm using this peach eyeliner from moira and on my lips one of three little mini charlotte tilbury lipsticks that i picked up from last year's um, holiday set this one i believe is in the shade supermodel just something easy small you can put it in your pocket you can put it in your purse your travel bag whatever it is but this full face was done practically with all travel friendly makeup and that is because it is featuring the latest collection from Nomad Cosmetics. So we got to give it to the bag. The bag is just too cute. It'll zip all the way up and then when you open it up that is what it looks like. Those mesh pockets in there and then you have um, some straps over here on this side where you could put maybe some smaller bottles, some makeup brushes, whatever you want and then everything in the collection fits neatly inside this bag. I love that it just folds completely flat or it opens up completely flat. Um, I think my favorite thing in the collection has got to be the eyeshadow palette. I love a neutral eyeshadow palette when I'm traveling, especially if it's just like maybe a weekend trip or an overnight trip. I mean, you just cannot go wrong with shades like this. They're quick and they're easy to blend out. You can just do a quick look on the go 
and I like that it is a small size and you do get a mirror over here. Again, three mattes, three shimmers. The palette alone retails for $22. My next favorite thing I think would have to be the face cream. This is a really nice hydrating moisturizer. And let me just, and I like the packaging. I think the packaging is cool, lightweight, very travel friendly, and there is no scent to this. So it feels really hydrating on my skin. You can use this as a multi-purpose cream. So you can use it as a moisturizer, which I think it's more intended to be a moisturizer, but you can also use it as a primer as I did today. If you need a little bit for your hands, feel free to put it on your hands. Um, I really did enjoy the Lip Slave, which was the lip balm. I am gonna get so much use out of this one and it smells it smells like roses like a rosebud so I like that as well I think the face mist is really good it's a fine mist but a lot comes out and it's also in that tin packaging again you can purchase the entire set for $79 or everything individually. Everything retails individually from $49 to $12. So um, don't forget, I do have an affiliate discount code STEF10 and that will save you 10% off of your order over at Nomad Cosmetics. Let me know your thoughts now, guys. What did you think of this new collection? I like that it's very different for the brand, and I'm definitely gonna have to give it two thumbs up because I think Nomad Cosmetics, they are a travel-themed indie makeup brand, so this collection makes total sense for them, and I love it. I hope this means that maybe we're gonna get some blushes, bronzers, highlighters from Nomad, perhaps even a foundation, fingers crossed for that, because you guys know I'm always down to try a new foundation. But let me know your thoughts on this collection. Is it going to be finding its way into your stash? Sound off in the comments down below. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm gonna see you all very soon. Bye.